I got the horse right here, the name is Paul Revere, and here's a guy that says if the weather's clear, can do, can do. This guy says the horse can do, if he says the horse can do, can do, can do. I can pick him do. Valentine, cause on the morning line, the guy has got Send him bigger than five to nine. But has make it epitaph, he wins it by a half. For God do this the here in the telegraph. For Paul Revere, I'll fight, I hear his foot's all right. A boss it all deep, the horse big red. Last night, I know it's Valentine, the morning works look fine. You know the job, he's brother's a friend of mine. And just a minute, boys, I got the feedbox noise. It says the great grandfather was great. I told you, Paul Revere, now this is no bump steer. It's from a handicapper that's real sincere. I think it's Valentine, cause on the morning line, the guy has got him bigger than five to nine. So make it F and F, he wins it by a half. But God, do this here in the telegraph. F and F. I got the horse. Right. Oh, I am so glad that it's been a while since um, all this happened, meaning just a biscuit left my barn after coming here, and it was my fault uh, that he even got claimed. Uh, other people could claim him, but those are other people, but I feel uh, terrifically responsible that I had any part in... in uh, bringing a horse to this, be a participant of a horse at the, to this level of training. Just a Biscuit was my best friend in racing's horse as a two-year-old. She brought him along every day in ice and hot water and cold water. And uh, we're not talking 10-buck rider, uh, exercise rider. We're talking about 30-buck exercise rider every day. Done up and preened and was just her favorite apple of her eye. I uh, didn't do bad in the bourbon. I uh, got a fourth in the bourbon, but not that many lengths. And uh, anyway, this uh, guy came along and oh, I love horses and blah 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 blah. And I want to I want to get some other horses on the shed row and uh, make you famous. <laughs> When he said that, I'm going, uh-oh, <laughs> because uh, I was famous when I was uh, 18 years old as uh, a harpist, and fame is uh, from hard work, not people making you famous. <laughs> and anyway, in this game, the horses make you famous, not people. People usually uh, in this game... 99% of the time get in your way uh, and then that 1% of the time uh, well that, that's lucky trainers that get that 1% <laughs> they're more like entrepreneurs anyway this guy did a very good job uh, uh, baiting me because he already gave me one horse to redo and I was doing a Fabulous job because that horse came in with a left ankle that looked like he'd already had 25 starts. <laughs> anyway, I got that thing straightened out and I said, well, I'm not a claimer. I've never claimed a horse in my life. Been around racing uh, since I was a kid, but I, no, I, I don't know that ball game. Because there are two different types of trainers, folks. There are trainers that make a horse and making a horse to have a career is quite a considerable difference than going from the two-year-old in training sales and uh, a few months later sticking it in a short race. Making a horse is a whole different ball game. And then there's the other kind of trainer that uh, pretty much is running a horse for a bet. And that's what these guys are into. Anyway, stupid me, I called my only best friend friend and uh that knows the game because she's been in it for oh, crumbs 55 years and uh 
knows all about the bottom of the barrel uh, racing because uh, she went up during her lifetime and uh, most people go down <laughs> or like being down there <laughs> because they don't know how to train. They don't really know how to make a horse. They just run them and run them and run them. Anyway, so I called her up and I said, oh gosh, this guy wants to claim a horse and, and I don't want to give him a tip on a horse that is no account and is is already running on, on one leg and the three are trailing after it. And that's what a lot of bottom claimers folks are. Uh, they're running off their willpower or what's left of it. And their legs or their wheels, as they say in the game, uh, well, they're not that much there. They don't have much wheels left. Anyway, so she said, well, I heard my, my horse. Maybe you can get a hold of him and we could bring him back again and da-da-da-da-da. And so I gave the tip to the guy. Unfortunately, the horse won. Uh, he did a beautiful race. It wasn't his type of race, but, you know, uh, people are at the bottoms with a good horse. A good horse, will, you could stick him in anywhere and he's going to, He's going to do a, a knock-up job from, you know, something that's never been a good horse. And look up the bourbon. That's no joke. That's a good stakes, classic stakes race. Anyway, so the guy claims the horse. Oh, God, that was a trip. And it went through uh, all this story after story and uh i don't believe any of their stories but it doesn't matter what their stories are and here i see he's entered in his name <laughs> and apparently uh they said uh they took there's a lot of gossip you know there's the men these these type of men by the way uh real bottom of the barrel claiming trainers and i don't care how many millions they're they say they've won in their career. Bottom is bottom. You can be rich and be at the bottom. Uh, I mean, not a lot of wealthy people have character anyway. But anyway, so this guy uh, does a lot of horses. Uh, big deal. Uh, it's quality, not quantity. But these guys don't think like that anyway. So here he comes and the horse gets here. And I said, well, my... My girlfriend, who knows this horse inside out way better than the last two trainers that have had it, um, wants to re restore him. And then here this guy says, oh, yes, I want to do that. So we, we want to put him in on Derby Day. Of course, that is laughter. You can hear it from the claiming trainers that this guy sticks around or deals with or whatever. We weren't talking to those guys. He was. So all of a sudden, everything went like microwave popcorn in my barn and uh my other owner was dating one of his sidekicks and it was all mixed up it was a mess uh politically speaking he had all of them have their own hidden agendas and all i was doing was let's bring this horse just a biscuit back again like sea biscuit well, thank God these guys didn't have sea biscuit cuz you wouldn't have the movie to watch <laughs> And, uh, and then when they first, when they came up, uh, a few weeks later, picked up the horse and in the interim of that, they were going this way and that way. And, and this, uh, Caesar guy was playing both sides of the fence, be quiet. Everything's going to be fine. Uh, blah, blah, blah. You know, he's talking and, and there's an old thing on the racetrack when their lips are moving, they ain't telling the truth. <laughs> that comes from old Bubba Bill and. He, he he did top forces, Ask Alan Jerkins. Uh, and that goes for you, uh, Jacinto. Um, yes, I was at Belmont. Go talk to Alan Jerkins. Go talk to, uh, let's see, what's his name? Um, he's retired now. Uh, Doc Schmidt. He knew me when I was with uh, Frank Stella's barn and Jim Cassidy. Uh, and there's another guy. I forget his name. But anyway... Uh, thank God for the internet. Um, at least uh, this horse is going to have a voice because I'm going to speak for him and my friend. When they took the horse out of the barn with their uh, made-up 
junk, <laughs> threw him at a real great claiming trainer, uh, and uh, we're just gonna they're just gonna cash a bet with them on Friday or try to, and uh, they they don't love horses. They didn't look. They didn't hear my girlfriend when she said what he is and how he fell through the cracks, just like Sea Biscuit, by the way. Fell through the cracks. That was a great trainer that had Sea Biscuit originally. I think it was the same trainer that had War Admiral. Goes down in the history books. But anyway, it, it, the intention was, and I said this right up front, you know, I'm not a claiming trainer. Um, I love horses, and I do the very best with the horse. And, and this guy pretends to say, oh, I love my horse, and blah, 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 blah. And if it doesn't like to run, we make him into a show horse, blah, 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 blah. Well, they're moving their lips again, folks. But when they came up and they did this dirty trick, whole lie, I felt so bad because here's my girlfriend. She loved this horse. This was uh, a horse that she had built a lot of hopes on and uh, had a schism with uh, another 99% owner. Doesn't matter how much money they have. Uh, class does not come with how much money you have <laughs> and it fell through the cracks and politics of uh, this trainer and that trainer and there is a lot of politics everybody's after uh, each other's owners it's, it's a real horrible way to subsist because you either become a part of it or uh, they try to eat you up at the same time <laughs> And that's why I'm so famous. <laughs> but I won't sell out. I won't sell out to sport horse people that want to have dreams about horses that should have two ounces of lead between their ears before they kill somebody. I won't sell out to these uh, low-leveled, uh, minded people that want to cash a bet through a horse. Um, honest racing, wherever the horse wants to run, that's okay. But this horse was a sea biscuit. And uh, my girlfriend and I wanted to bring him back, and we couldn't. But we love him anyway. Win or lose, just a biscuit is great. No, no, Opportunity. I want to catch you. The kiss, the kiss, the kiss. I recognize you. Go over here. Go over here. Hold on. Back again. I I pet him a lot. He likes me. Couple of days that horse doesn't come up. Come here. Buddy. Come on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Adrian, haven't seen him in a long time. Yeah. Family. Yeah, like get up, get up here. Get up here. Come here. Get him, get him when he nuzzles her. Oh. Come on. Come on. Oh, look at there. <laughs> Boy, look at his eye. He does remember her. Sure, you know? he never, never forgets. You know, probably even forget me. I only see him once. Got him up. Ghost me. Boy, he sure ran that a nice race, that race. Super. He's Mr. Uh, oh, okay, I'll take my move now. <laughs> Out of the way, buddies. <laughs> You're looking well, at the camera, huh? You it already? Yeah. <coughs> you got it? I'm still getting it. <laughs>